Hey guys, wanna get up to date quickly on the new features of Illustrator 2021? Join me and see how to make the most of the improved recolor artwork and all the other new features in this update. If you are interested to check out specific features, just use the chapters in the progress bar or the time codes in the description. I have always been a big fan of the recolor artwork feature and now in Illustrator 2021 this has been improved and made much easier to work with. So first of all you would want to use this feature normally when you want to improve the color palette of an illustration. For instance we have a beautiful illustration here on the left side with gorgeous autumn colors and on the right side we have two instances of the same illustration where I'm happy with the general composition but I'm not 100% sure on the colors. So with the new and improved recolor artwork, we will be able to use the illustration on the left as a reference and match the colors for our illustration on the right. So let's test this out. I'm going to select this illustration here, click on the recolor artwork icon here in the control bar. By the way, if you don't see this, just go to the window menu and choose control. So once we have that selected, this new floating dialog box comes up, which we can move around easily. I'm just going to keep it somewhere in the middle. And notice that we have the option here called Color Theme Picker. So this is the cool new feature that I wanted to show you. By clicking on this, we can select an illustration. This is grouped here on the left side. And that is important because if you're not grouping things together, this tool won't be able to sample all the included colors at the same time. So once I click on it, you will notice it's been already applied on the right side. And I just intentionally kept the original version here in the middle so you can compare the two. But we can go much further than that. If we want to only sample a certain area from that illustration on the left, with the same color theme picker, we can just draw around the area that we are interested in. Let's just say something like that. And immediately the illustration changes on the right side. Now let me go back to select all the colors once again and then let's just refine a couple of things. This yellow color I'm just going to move a little bit more towards the oranges something like that and then the tent with the green color looks quite nice but maybe we want to also change that slightly and go towards the purples here. I think that goes better with the general color palette. And you can already compare the colors from before and after, but let's use the recolor artwork again, in this case on the illustration in the middle. I'm going to move this slightly to the left and show you a couple of additional cool features. First of all, the original colors that we have here, we can refine by adjusting these values here on the bottom. This is the brightness, which we can reduce and make all the colors darker or brighter. We can also switch to saturation where we can desaturate the colors by dragging them to the left or adding more vivid colors if we drag it to the right. This was already available in previous versions but it was just much longer to get to. Now with this quick menu it's so much faster and easier to make these amends. But my favorite new feature within the recolor artwork has to be the dominant color section where we can play around with the proportions of the colors within the illustration. So for example, if I wanted to see more of this color, which is here on the right side, I can just drag it further to the left and you can see how it starts to take over the sky color. So if I drag it back, now we have more of that. Or again, I can drag it back and then we have again more of the color on the right. We also have the two icons here with which we can randomize the colors. This one here randomizes the order of the colors, which can create quite surprising results. And then you also have the randomizing the saturation and brightness of the colors. Once again, these were available before. It's just faster to get to right now. We can always reset the colors quickly before exiting from recolor feature. And if you want to get to all of the advanced options or the original dialog box, you can just click on advanced option here at the bottom. And this should be the more familiar way of seeing the recolor artwork feature. Another feature that was recently introduced is to be able to unlock objects directly from the canvas. So without going into the layers panel. So let's just say I want to lock this rectangle here. I can use the shortcut command or control two. And then if I make a selection here, I can easily move things around. 
without moving the rectangle. And notice that there is a little padlock icon appearing on that rectangle. And by clicking on this, we can very quickly unlock it again. To make sure you can see this feature, you will have to go into the preferences and under selection and anchor display, you have to turn on select and unlock objects on canvas. We also have a couple of improvements when it comes to working with text. Here we have an editable text and I have an icon or illustration next to it. If I start moving that around, notice I will start seeing new snapping options. First of all, I can align this illustration to the baseline of that text, or I can align it to the text bound, which works both on the top and also at the bottom. And it also works on the right. Again, we see the text bound there, or also here on the left. And if you want to disable this option, just go to the view menu and turn off snap to glyphs. Now, why is this useful? Because maybe I wanted to turn this into a logo and I wanted to make sure that this magnet is aligned to the baseline. That way I can also resize it slightly. And once I turn this into outlines, I can just delete that section of the P and drag and move this here. But before I get carried away, let me also show you the other typographic features that were introduced. We have vertical text alignment now, just like in InDesign. You can find this here in the control bar. So we can set this to center or bottom aligned within the text frame. And don't forget, this will only work with area type, not line types. So if I want, I can go back to top alignment or I can even choose justification, which will spread out the leading or the spacing between the lines to make sure it fills up the vertical space within my text frame. And last but not least, let's just select this text here. And if we go into the character options, notice that we have a new section called font height, which you might not see by default. You might need to turn this on from the additional settings. So once you have show font height options turned on, you will be able to change this from the default M box to things like X height or cap height. And notice that the default setting would say that this is a 16 point font size, but based on the X height, it's only eight points. Now, the reason why this might be useful is when you have a small text somewhere within your illustration and you want to make sure that it's still legible, sometimes based on the X height, it is easier to tell the minimum size that will still be legible. And that's all the new features I could show you in Illustrator 2021. But don't forget to check out the other video which I recorded specifically on Illustrator on the iPad, which is probably the most exciting new release that came out for Creative Cloud 2021. Thanks a lot for watching. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release new videos. Click on the link on my right and start your membership today to get access to over 200 hours of training courses and personal mentoring by me and my team of creative professionals. Have fun learning guys and I will see you in the next one.